In this video, we are discussing more on regular expressions. So, Scala inherits its regular expression syntax from Java, which is in turn inherits most of the features of Perl. So, here are just some examples that should be enough to work as a freshers in this respective course. So, following is a table listing down all the regular expressions meta character syntax available in Java. So, now here you see we are having this upper caret also we are calling it as upper caret or cap that is a shift 6 on the keyboard. So, matches beginning of the line that means here the expression will be matched at the beginning of the line. We are having this dollar matches at the end of the line. We are having this dot a single dot full stop there is a dot matches any single character except the new line using M option allows it to match new line as well. So, here we are having this square brackets and we are having the list of some characters here. So, matches any single character within the brackets. We are having this within, within the square brackets we have written some characters but preceded by this upper character symbol that is not here. It is having the meaning here as not. So, matches any single character not in the brackets. So, in this way the sub expressions are to be written and here we are having the respective matches. So, here we are having this slash slash z end of the enter string slash slash capital Z end of the enter string except allowable final line terminator. So, here we are having other sub expressions like your R e star matches 0 or more occurrence of preceding expression. So, either RE will be, uh, will be existing for no times or multiple times both will be matched here. RE plus matches one or more of the previous thing. RE question mark uh, matches 0 or 1 occurrence of the preceding expression. We are having this RE but will, within curly braces we have written this N matches exactly N number of occurrences of the preceding expression. So, here also matches N or more occurrences of the preceding expression. So, here we are having the sub expressions and the respective matches. We are having this RE within curly braces we have written N small n comma small m. So, matches at least N and at most M occurrences of the preceding expression. So, A within then slash then B matches either A or B. So, here it is nothing but one filter sign. So, RE within the first brackets groups regular expression and members matched text. In this way, we are having the other options are there. You can easily read them and these are the respective matches we have noted here. We are having this slash slash D here. So, it is our backslash you can remember it is our backslash. So, matches digits here D denotes the digits that means equivalent to 0 to 9. So, within, within, within the square brackets if you write 0 to 9, 0 dash 9, so it is same as slash slash D here, slash slash capital D, so matches non digits, slash slash capital A, so matches beginning of the string, slash slash capital Z matches end of the string, if a new line exists it matches just before the new line. In this way you are having the other options, the sub expressions and the respective matches have got given. We are having the sub expressions like your slash slash b, slash slash capital B, slash slash n, slash slash q and slash slash e. So, now just consider this one ends quoting begun with this slash slash capital Q. So, this is the escape quote all characters up to this slash slash e. So, in this way you have written the respective matches here and the respective sub expressions. I think to get a clear conception let us go through some examples now. So, here we have given some examples for, for the better clarity. So, now let me explain. So, dot match any character except the new line. So, here you see we have written capital R smaller within square brackets and then U B Y matches capital R U B Y or smaller U B Y. So, any string which is which is either Ruby where R is capital or Ruby where R is small. So, that will be falling in the match. We are having this R U B then Y or E within the square brackets. So, it will be matched with this Ruby or this Ruby where Y will be the last character or E will be the last character. So, either one of them will be taken here. So, now here we are having this 
A E I O U. So it is within this square brackets match any one of the lowercase vowels. We are having the, within the square brackets we are having this 0 dash 9. So match any digit same as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We also you can write this, otherwise we can write this. Here we are having within the curly within the square brackets we are having this small a dash small z matches any lowercase escalators. I think now the conception is getting clear to you that how this uh, regular expressions are working. So here we are having this within the square brackets we are having capital A dash capital Z. So match any uppercase escalator. We are having this small a dash small z small a capital A dash capital Z then 0 dash 9 matches any one of the any of the above. So now what about the cases what about the characters we have provided. So any one of them will be the following match that means either it will be a lowercase letter or uppercase letter or a digit. So here we are having this upper caret that is not so a e i o u prior to that we have got this upper caret that is a not matches any anything other than a lowercase vowel. We are having this not 0 dash 9 within this square brackets match anything other than a digit. We are having this slash slash d so match a digit which will be ranging from 0 to 9 we written within square brackets. I think now the conception is getting clear to you that how this regular expression can be used in our scalar programming language. Thanks for watching this.